Welcome back. In our prior video, we looked at creating dynamic data visualizations. In this section, we're going to focus on providing interaction for our data visualizations using a number of techniques. What we'll learn in a series of videos, we'll have our introduction, we'll give a brief overview of different interaction methods, and then we'll move on to subsequent videos that cover linking and brushing, then filters and facets, drill down capability, and finally, tool tips. So here's a brief overview of each of these methods. What we're talking about when we refer to linking, this could be a link to other data within the same data visualization, or often to something outside using the web. And we can use some URL encoding to retrieve related information for the user. Brushing is a way to update, in a sense, visually update multiple charts or multiple elements within a single chart based on the user just clicking on something such as a legend. And then filters and facets, commonly used on travel websites, are a great way to provide users with a lot of data, but allow them to explore it according to their preferences. We don't have to throw it all on the data visualization. We can let them dig into it. Drill down capability in a similar fashion, we provide typically some level of aggregation when we're building a data visualization. And drill down capability gives users the ability to see additional details. And then tool tips can be used as a, a supplement or even a replacement to labels on our charts or data visualizations. Number one, to keep them clean. Number two, to provide a lot of additional context and meaning. So with that, let's look at adding linking and brushing capability to our data visualizations. And what we're going to cover in this video is number one, why these are important techniques to be able to use to provide to your users as you give them your completed data visualizations. And then we're going to look at linking, and specifically in this case, we'll link from a dashboard to an external element to give the user more information. And then we'll show examples of brushing to and how it can help to enable user comprehension and make it easier to see patterns in a dense data set. So reasons we use linking and brushing, linking gives the user access to information either elsewhere within a data viz or outside the data viz, and just makes it easier for them to retrieve rich information. And then brushing, again, makes it easier for the user, but now they're typically seeing patterns in adjoining charts, such as small multiples, or even within a single chart, they're able to use brushing to filter the data. To recap why we add those sorts of capabilities, number one, it makes it easier for users. Number two, we can provide additional context or even additional information to make their job simple. So let's look first at an example of linking. Here we've got a Tableau public dashboard showing batters by season, which side of the plate they bat from, are they a left-hand hitter or a right-hand hitter, and then the number of runs they scored that season. And what we'd like to be able to do in this case is to retrieve external information by linking outside of this data visualization to a website. And we can do that here through a dashboard action where we're using attributes in our data set to retrieve or link to information from baseballreference.com using their format. And then we plug in things like the batter's last name initial and the player ID. And what that does is it gives the user some real power where they can find information by player and it quickly takes them to the web page for that player. And you can do this for set it up one time, and then it works for all these hundreds, if not thousands, of players in your data visualization. 
So that's the idea with linking from an, an internal dashboard or data visualization to an external site. We can also look at brushing. Quick example here, we've got a scatter plot with a lot of different data points. Each data point is colored by season. So we have 1980 through 1989. And what brushing in this case does, it highlights the information from the single season that we've clicked on while graying out the remainder of the information. So in a sense, it's similar to filtering, but we still keep all of the remaining data in the data visualization. We're just able to focus more easily on the single season where we're doing the brushing. So it's a great technique for keeping all of the data in the data visualization so we can see in relative terms where our brushed element lies. And we can see if it's sitting at the low end of the pattern or somewhere in the middle or at the high end, as opposed to filtering where we lose the richness of having the other seasons included. So to summarize, we use linking and brushing to give users insight. We just saw that with the brushing and with the linking, we can take them either internally in the data viz to another point, or we can go outside to provide external information for our users. So both techniques can really save time for the users and they add to the engagement level as well, which is a, a great benefit.